So, anyways, Invader Zim was a show that happened a long time ago. <laughs> Although it seems to be on TV again. Uh, yes. Yeah, Nicktoon seems to be squaring it off against Dragon Ball. <laughs> which seems like an obvious choice, I guess. I don't know, maybe because there's a lot of screaming in both. <laughs> that, might, that might be what they're thinking of. Um, but yeah, it was a show that was uh, we made, uh, I made with uh, some friends back in 2000. Well, I started on it in 2000 and uh, finished it in 2002. But actually the show had been in production uh, since about uh, 1997. And Jonan had been in production on it since then. And, and uh, I had, he had first contacted me asking me if I wanted to be on the show as a colorist in, in March of 97. And I think he thought it was going to be like something that was going to be over with real quick. Like he was going to do it in like a year and he'd be done. I don't think he thought it was going to take up another, uh, another few years. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So I, I was originally brought in as, as a colorist for that show. And then uh, while I was living with Jonan uh, at his house uh, where he lives, <laughs> uh, it was a dark little tomb. Uh, even though it was 105 degrees outside, I had to walk around uh, inside the house with a mag light in the daytime because he just he doesn't believe in light. Uh, while I was living there, uh, and I was coloring his book, uh, "I Feel Sick" was the name of the book. Mm -hmm. uh, he he was having trouble finding a voice actor for her, and I asked him, sort of jokingly, "Can I give it a shot?" and he said, sure, I guess you can't screw it up any more than anyone else. Uh, so that I got some auditions and they, uh, they liked it. So that's my magical story. And so then I ended up uh, double duty on Zim. I was, I was a duty. <laughs> I was a, a background painter, painted 700 backgrounds. And uh, anything with outer space, I did. Uh, and... And then the, all the GERB stuff. <laughs>